Hey, what's up, everybody? Today I'm gonna talk about uh, Bitmain as they have released their new uh, N miner app uh, V9, and it is on four Terra hash. And what does it mine on? It mine on Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. So uh, it's the SHA-256 algorithm, which you can mine on any coin which has that algorithm. And after that, the cost price of it is three hundred forty-five dollars, and the shipping period is on March. And after that, you can pay with a uh, USD. But uh, on the 14th to 24th of February, it is a Chinese New Year, and after that they are taking a break, so they will not be accepting uh, payments from 14 to 24. But the only payment method you can use uh, for cryptocurrency it is a uh, Bitcoin Cash, and after that, uh, yeah, basically they are gonna accept on Bitcoin Cash only. But they say they do accept wire transfer, but on the 14th to 24th is already a break. So if you want to purchase the miner now. Before you purchase it, let me do the calculation and compare it with the S9 miner before you make any, uh, I would say, stupid move because I honestly think this miner is not profitable at all. Right, as I mean, uh, what to uh, what to mine calculator, uh, calculation, the website, uh, 4 tera hash, it is 4, uh, 4 giga hash, uh, 4000 giga hash per second, and after that, the power for this miner is 1027, and the cost of electricity, I will put it at the cheapest. It is 0 0.03 uh, cents per kilowatt. So, and the hardware cost for it is $345. And after that, the difficulty I have uh, came over to btc.com and copied the difficulty right here. And after that, just paste it over to what to mine. Just click on disable and enable. Just paste it there. And after that, take away the commas and you just click on calculate. So, when it calculate, uh, as you can see, you are going to break even at 154 days. Let's say 155 days. The profit per per hour it is going to be uh, nine cent per day is two dollar and uh, twenty four cents. But if your electricity cost is more than nine cent, uh, you are not going to make any profit out of it, and the break even time will be far more longer. As you can see, the break even time down here it is. Uh, 155 days and after that how much you can earn uh, within a month it is $67 but bear in mind all these calculation is all everything depend on the price of Bitcoin and the difficulty adjustment which the difficulty adjustment is going to increase by 9% for the next difficulty adjustment which is uh, 12 days and 21 hour uh, BTC.com it is a very accurate uh, difficulty adjustment uh, website as you can just click on it they shows many status uh, and the stats of Bitcoin uh, network and everything. So let's compare it with the S9 miner. As you can see, the S9 miner, this is the new batch which is going to mine on 14 tera hash if I'm not wrong. 14 tera hash with the power of uh, with the power of 1,372, and the cost for electricity I'm just going to put at three cents. And after that, the hardware cost is going to be 2,320 dollars, which is entered here. And the difficulty adjustment, I already copied it, and let's hit on calculate. All right, let's go down. All right, as you can see, the break even time is far more longer, uh, because this is the um the most powerful miner, which is on the high demand. So many people are not many people will tend to buy this miner instead of the V9, I would say. So the break even time is uh two hundred and. 47 days let's put it at 47 days all right so how much you're gonna earn the uh, an hourly you're gonna earn an hourly of 39 39 cents and a day you can earn nine dollars and 43 and the month uh, the week and the month is all forecasted here but bear this in mind this is just a momentary uh how would i say momentary uh calculation because i already said in a uh, earlier of the video everything depends on the difficulty adjustment and after that the price of Bitcoin going up or down and after that of course this block per reward is gonna change in like 2020 is gonna break into the half so it's gonna the now now the uh, block per reward it is like 12.5 and after that on 2020 it's gonna break into 6.25 yeah so uh, would I say like uh, V9 is good to buy or you should just forget it I would say uh, just forget it because let me just calculate the average cost of electricity in the US is uh, 12 cents so you could click on calculate you're gonna see the price uh, 
the break even time it is going to be 10,000 days so it's not even worth to buy and after that V9 V9 is just released because they are I think Bimbit is just going to do a clearance sales for their miners so you should never uh, like don't always look at the calculation and after that uh, buy the miner but bear in mind that if your electricity cost is like somehow free using a solar panel you can consider buying this and after that trying for like maybe a few days and after that sell the miner away and maybe make half of your profit then after that sell your miner at half price so like this you are gonna break even but uh, for my own opinion I think that the V9 miner is totally a uh, miss like you shouldn't even buy it and after that bear in mind that the minimum you need to buy is at 5 so you have to buy 5 units to in order to ship it out because they do not sell at 1 and after that if you want to buy like minor I would probably uh, suggest like the N minor S9 is the best for now but rumor says that uh, Bitman is going to release a more powerful minor which we all don't know when is it going to be and after that we already those tech, uh, tech industry like uh, Intel and after that all those Microsoft everybody in the tech industry is co is coming into the Bitcoin uh, the cryptocurrency space and after that I predict they are going to invent more miners and after that eventually if Bitmain don't keep up the, the, the pace to be number one definitely some other foreign uh, foreign company that is in the US or whatsoever they are going to beat Bitmain and after that Bitmain will be maybe second place or whatsoever we do not know that so this is the forecast revenue and after the calculation and what is what does the V9 miner do actually it's just shadow 56 with just like I would say a newer chip alright as you can see the hashing chip is BM158 and after that for the S9 the let me click on it and show you the chip Right, it does not ah uh, alright the chip here is BM uh, 1387 so that chip at V9 is somehow a better version but the profitability for this is shit alright you can't really profit from this uh, V9 miner unless you have like really 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 cheap electricity cost even free if not don't bother buying if maybe you are like a tech guy or some geek you want to uh, all of their product that came out first you want to get a uh, grab hold of it go ahead and maybe like buy five and after that like don't know like maybe mine for a week or two weeks and after that sell it away that's just like a, a suggestion or whatsoever do not take this as any financial advice so uh, that's all for this video I hope you like this video leave a thumbs up, thumbs up subscribe to my channel and turn on post notification to know my next update and please consider properly before buying the V9 because uh, I have made worst mistake of my life like buying the D3 miner and put it into a uh, mining a uh, host uh, somehow a host mining or something I, I call it like a place that where they help you mine help you store your miner and after that charge you rental fee and whatsoever it is called gigawatt.com you can check it out and after that yeah basically I just waste I just threw my first investment it was my first investment into the cryptocurrency space I just threw it down to the drain so do not uh, like make the same mistake as, as I've done if you are new to the space always do on lots of research and after that always know that the difficulty adjustment it is unpredictable so you will never know when the uh, maybe it's gonna spike up at 20% and after that in the next month it's gonna spike spike up at like 40% and the mining profitability profitability is going to go down a lot so always bear this in mind that all the calculation you have done is just a forecast for you to see and after that uh, like how would I put it in words like this is just like a, a revenue for you to see but you can't really predict you know like, maybe you can see it per day per day you're gonna earn this yeah it's possible maybe per week because the difficulty adjustment is two week one time so you can just only look at the day and a week and don't look at the month and the year because the month and the year they have big amount of uh, cost like how much you're gonna earn uh, in a big number of value and you will be tempted to buy it because the D3 was like this honestly within a year I saw the D3 you could make uh, just make up to like four to five thousand even ten thousand within a year 
so like I, I thought of the investment but I forgot about the difficulty adjustment this is a lesson that I learned so if you are watching the video hope you learn this lesson and that's all for this video peace